The latest victim who is a 13-year-old primary six pupil resides at Kisigula Bunamwaya in Rubaga Division. It's alleged that on the 28th of October, Asmani Mend, a suspected serial rapist, allegedly defiled her. And that man cut me by force and removed the, my pants and, and he started and that man started sleeping on me. All this happened when the little girl's guardians briefly went out for a meeting. And that man came again and he bring me outside and he said that you remove your clothes and I refuse. It is alleged that the serial rapist Asumani Mende jumped over this fence and defiled this girl. In fact, the parents have just told us that this man has about five cases of defilement and rape recorded at Bunamwaya Community Police Station. The girl, she was bleeding the blood from down. I took her to police immediately. And they told us that you, the girl has been raped. They gave us the, med the medicines. She's on the Alavis now. That man has several cases. This is the fifth one. They are telling me, they are, uh, like a woman called Jane, she came to me and told me she had been raped by the same man. The neighbors also point fingers at Asmani, saying that he is an habitual rapist known for terrorizing residents in the area. He, he entering on my house, he trying to, to rape my sister. As we were going with the police people, two gentlemen came in front of her. She was able to say the one in the white vest. My attempts to talk to the mother of the alleged uh, suspect were futile as it was reported that she had gone to church. When you ask the mother, mother said that can tell that there is a demon attacking him. Police at Munamaya confirms that Asuman, the suspect, was arrested but one was surprised. He escaped from the highly guarded cell, allegedly with the help of a police officer, Jimmy Aroti. But I think the sales guard was a little reluctant. I think when he was supposed to be put back in the cells, he was still at the counter, and he, somehow, somewhere, he sneaked out. Is that really possible in Katwe police station? How can a sus his suspect run away from you in an office, an office full of fellow detectives. As parents, where do we stand as the public if police is not helping us? NTV visit Katwe police station where the suspect allegedly escaped. On not seeing our arrival, the CID officer Beno Nayebare sneaked out of the station and attempts to talk to improved futile. NTV could not ascertain whether the police officer Jim Aroti, who abetted the escape of the suspect, was still under detention. In fact, yesterday we didn't sleep. We were very scared. We thought that the suspect who had escaped was coming after us that very night. I'm confused now. I don't know what to do. In fact, we came even to learn the OC station said this is not the first case Jimmy Aloti is handling, is involved in. That two weeks ago, he was caught with 150,000 shillings, according to Osi Station Katwe, a bribe, a bribe that was given to, to spoil a defilement case. This year's East African Bribery Index indicates that police was the most corrupt prone institution in Uganda at 60%. And a report by Ampukan, a child rights organization, shows that defilement is on the increase. Jingo Francis, NTV Weekend Edition.